Naomi, is there something you want to say for yourself? This is the seventh time you fought a fellow student in school. You not only fight your classmates anymore, you now fight your seniors as well. You do realize you'll be punished for what you've done, yeah? Jaden and Chizaram are in the sick bay because of you. Why did you do that to Jaden? He's a weakling. Is that all you have to say? Come in. Ah, principal. Welcome, Mr. Jerry. Morning. Welcome. Nice yeah, good to see you. Welcome. Um, yeah, um, you called. You sounded very um, urgent. And um, this one, my daughter is here. I'm afraid um, we have a problem. Okay. I'm so sorry, but your daughter can no longer continue with our school. Uh, uh, principal, but we are not owing the school. We pay our dues and, uh, and fees all the time. Which is very true. You meet our school requirements on time. This has nothing to do with that. Naomi here poses a danger to other students. Uh, what? My daughter is fine. Nothing is wrong with her. Is that Jai? Mm -hmm. Naomi fought on other students today. This is the seventh time since she joined the school. She fought our senior prefect, Jaden. A great kid with a perfect record. And yet, Naomi did not spare him. Naomi goes about fighting for no reason at all. Even her classmate Chizaram, who tried to broker peace between them, is at the sick bay with a busted lip and nosebleed. Um, principal. Maybe she was trying to defend herself from bullies. Like you said, the boy is way older than her, both in class and age. I mean, how can my daughter beat up such a big boy and Another injured. Um, Mr. Jay, with all due respect, I have witnessed Naomi one or two occasions in these fights. Naomi is the bully here. And we can no longer continue to expect her to change. <clears throat> See, parents are complaining and pulling their children out of our school. I can't keep losing students because of one student. Hmm? Hmm. Come here, come here. Now listen to me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? This is the third school you are attending in the past two years. What school do you think will take you? Huh? What school do you think will take you again? Now listen to me and listen very good. If this school throws you out, then no schooling for you again. You go to the ghetto and stay with your aunt. You hear me? Since you want to fight, you have a lot of talks in there to fight with. Ah, let her go. You are hurting her. She's a disgrace. My daughter is not a disgrace. Just take a good look at her. Take a very good look at our daughter. She's a very useless child. I'm warning you for the last time. Stop calling my daughter names. Or what? Huh? What would you do? She's my daughter too, isn't she? Huh? 
You should be ashamed of yourself. Just, just, just look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself that this is how badly you raised our daughter. Principal, I understand that Naomi has been giving you a lot of problems. But as it is now, changing her school is going to affect her studies. As you know, she's already struggling with her grades, please. I know. But I'm really sorry. I wish there was something I could do to help. But I can't. You see, Naomi does not only need a new school. Naomi needs help. What? <laughs> I don't understand. There is something about Naomi. Naomi, could you excuse us, please? Naomi. The principal is talking to you, Naomi. Get your silly self out of this office right now. Stop talking to my daughter like that. I will not sit here and watch you treat her like a piece of trash. Then she better be responsible. Look at you. See who is talking about being responsible. Are you responsible yourself? Are we going to do this right here? What? What? Spread your dirty linen here. Hmm? Go ahead! Go ahead! You are a replica of a monster. I will not allow you to treat my daughter the same way you treat me. Enough! This is not your home. You don't go about turning people's offices into your boxing ring. Keep quiet! Don't tell me to keep quiet. Naomi. <sighs> Sir. If you wanted to expel me, you could have just told me right away and I would leave your school and never return. No. You don't have the right to invite strangers what? or anyone to witness my expulsion. No. Your parents, strangers, I don't get it. Principal Kuka, I, I really enjoyed your school. I wish I didn't have to move. Naomi. Um, Naomi. When I was in basic three, my teacher taught us about role models. She also told us about their significance in our lives. And she told us that as children, we must look up to our parents as our role models. Oh. Prince Bakuka, if you want to know why I enjoy fighting so much. Take a look at these two people here. And you will see that I'm a replica of them. Because that, that is all I was taught. Fight, fight, fight. Naomi, come back here. Naomi! Naomi! <laughs> see what you've cost. You, hmm? you see the daughter you raised? You have huh? finished. It will never be well with you. <laughs> um, principal, please. Naomi, please. We're really sorry about the, uh, 
display. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I missed home. You did, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how can you miss home more than your freedom that you had in the US? Freedom or not, there's nowhere like home. Like, nowhere at all. No problem. Nothing at all. And then there's the food. Mm. Food. Mm. Ah, mm. The local and natural taste, it's, it's, it's just so satisfying. You can't compare that to anything. You know I cook a mean pot of jello fries now, right? Mm. Like with the burnt pot and everything, like mm. on yes. point. Mm. <laughs> um, have you improved in your cooking? 
yes 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 far better i mean you know with all the alone time i get now i mean i cook for myself now if i kill myself with food poisoning <laughs> 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 eating bread every morning <laughs> but it's good to have you back though yes back. yes i'm happy i'm happy to be back home not so happy though because here i'm driving you <laughs> yes whether you like it or not you are my designated driver <laughs> now and forever see you bam, bam, imagine bam, that <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Hmm. Thank God for a safe flight. Yes. Thank you, Uncle, for everything you've been doing for us. For taking care of us after my father died. Thank you, Uncle. And for sponsoring my master's program. Uh, that was nothing. Uh, your father was a very good friend. And um, I've always taken you to be a member of this family. <laughs> Just keep on being the nice guy that you are, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, and how is the health of your mother? Oh, well, you know she's living with my aunt after things went terribly bad for us. But I spoke to her before coming back, and Good. she's okay. She has undergone chemotherapy treatment, and she's in recovery. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good. You know, I've been pondering um, if we could relocate her to this place. This house is too big and empty, particularly when I go on my business trips, and. Um, you have more opportunities here than Abba. Really? Yes. Hey, thank you so much, Uncle. Thank that's you. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've been doing. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah. And I'm wondering, uh, Jadine, is it not proper we all go out for lunch tomorrow to celebrate her achievement? Yeah, that sounds like I think so. Yes. So tomorrow, lunch. Yes, Uncle. You're welcome. Thank you. Jaden, your dad is so nice. You know, I should be the one taking him out to lunch. To thank him. You know, I really can't understand this. This same guy you're calling nice, this man, he, he, he didn't even attend any of my graduations or my milestones. And he doesn't even remember my birthday. Oh, Jayden. So it's so weird. Jaden, your dad is nice. Trust me. Maybe he's just really occupied with work. Really occupied with work for how many years? Oh, anyway, it's fine. So when are you going to pick up your mom? Soon. <laughs> I'm so happy. I know, know really. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer have the need to be traveling here and there to check up on mm, her. I'm just... True. Thank you. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Mm. I'm happy too that she's coming because now... You get to drive her everywhere she wants, oh, and I can now be free this. and do what I want to do and exist, <laughs> right? Good morning, little Zara. Little? You're just three years older than me. Yeah, but you know you've always been little Zara and you'll continue to be little Zara. Whatever. <laughs> well, I'll be traveling to go pick up my mom. Okay. Uncle said he has scheduled an appointment with the doctor. So the earlier she's here, the better. Yeah, that actually makes sense. The earlier, the better. So, when are you planning on going? On Wednesday. Okay. Okay, then I'll, I'll take you to the airport. Okay. And also, you should use that opportunity to arrange something. What, what would that be? I want to go clubbing this weekend, and you're taking me. Ouch! Who was that for? No clubbing for you, little Zara. <laughs> I am not little! <laughs> I'm a full-grown woman. <laughs> Tell me what 
tell me, do you need anything? Yeah, maybe something to drink. Okay. I'm still not late. <laughs> Miss your flight, and I'll end up being late for work. I'm coming. I'm ready. Sorry. Yeah. So, how do I look? Wow. You look like you just stepped out of a magazine, actually. <laughs> for broken fingers when he touched me. And you think there were no better ways to handle such situations? Well, I used the best way. This is the best way? Yes, and now he will never try it again. Naomi, Naomi, please, I do not want to lose one customer because of you. Stop this. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Please, please, sir. Don't See, problem. our organization is not known for this attitude. Sorry, sir, please. You need to talk some sense to me, sir, please. Do you want some sense? Please, please, talk. I will. I will. Sir, hope you're good. Do you, you want something else? No. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry.
Good morning, Dad. Jenny, you are early this morning. Yes, I made breakfast. On my way to the airport, I had a flight to catch. Something came up. Another flight? But Dad, you could have just... I will eat inside the plane, okay? Please, do take good care of the office in my absence. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Who's there? Welcome. So good to see you. Thank you. You look so big now. <laughs> you look nice and handsome. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Hope your trip wasn't so stressful. <sighs> Not at all. I'm fine. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Where's your father? Uh, he's not around at the moment. He told me you were coming and he asked me to take care of you. He's wow. gone out on a business trip. Wow, that's nice. Mm. The best thing that happened to me is making your mother my friend. Ever since things became bad for us, you and your father has been taking care of me and my daughter. Sponsoring her education, my medical bill, and now, a place to leave. Auntie, please, don't mention, okay? You are practically family now. And remember, you were there for us when we needed you the most. Oh. Don't mind him, Mom. He's always so modest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so please take a go get changed. Okay. Okay. So you guys can come out for lunch. Why did you bring me here? I thought we were going clubbing. Well, I don't feel like going clubbing. A friend recommended this place and said it has a really chill vibe. And I think it does. Yeah, mm. yeah whatever. Just get us drinks. Okay, what would you like to drink? Mm. Surprise me. I'm not driving. You are the designated driver. So turn down the alcohol for yourself. Yeah, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Okay. Please, can I have your phone? So I can take the pictures you took of me. Yeah? Yeah. What's the password? You know all my passwords. I uh, I can't remember. <sighs> Tell 631 964. me. 631-964. 631 Yeah, your dad's birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Uh, good evening, sir. How may I help you? Uh, thanks. I would like to get uh, six shots of tequila. Okay. Which one? Which one, please? All right. Sure. Be right back. Thanks. Sorry, um, I'm sorry. Is your name Naomi? Naomi Ajay. Wait, it's you. You don't remember me? Jaden, Jaden OKZ from secondary school. 
You came here to gloat? No, no, no. Why would you say that? It's, it's good to see you. How have you been? Here's your order. You better take it and leave my presence before I drench you in them. Okay. Hey, Woof. what took you so long? Remember Naomi, right? Naomi Ajayi. You know, should I? Yes, you guys were in the same class in secondary school. Remember Naomi that got expelled for punching you in the face? Oh, well, you didn't introduce her as her title, the bully. <laughs> Why? What's up with her? Uh, she's the bartender. Really? Yeah. Whoa. She looks horrible. Well, I'm happy Nemesis finally caught up with her. Because that girl, I couldn't even eat for days after she hurts me. Jaden. Jaden. What? You know, it's good we actually came here. Yes. Because it's so satisfying to see her just be a total waste of space. Hmm. Yes. On three. Yes. Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Mm. <sighs> Zara, wait. I come to think of it. How did she end up getting a job like that? She's always been very ambitious. Enough. Enough. You've been going on and on about her the whole night. If you wanted to know more about her, you should have just walked up to her and asked. No, but it's not like that. I mean, aren't you a bit curious? She was your schoolmate. No. And you going on and on about her the whole night ruined my night. I just want to sleep. Can I ask you a question? I want uh -huh. to pick your brain for a bit. Okay. Um, do you think she kind of met hardship along the way? I mean, Naomi, that is. Mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Who has the gift of seeing the past? Definitely not me. Did you just say mirror, mirror on the wall? You're not five years old. I'm hungry. Just take me out for lunch. Did you even hear anything I said about Naomi? Jaden, everywhere I go to in this house, it's Naomi this, Naomi that, Naomi this. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Just take me out for lunch. Jeez, I've heard before you bust my eardrums. I know you're hungry and I will take you out. Yes, that's what I said. I also get something for your mom. Hope the doctor is treating you well. Yes, yes. He's gentle on me and he listens to my complaints. That's good. That's interesting. Hopefully, very soon everything will come back to normal. Yes. All oh, thanks to you. If not for you, I wonder what would have become of me. 
we are indebted to you. Oh, will you stop that, please? Stop that. When my wife died, Jadim was barely five years old, but you took him like your own son. In fact, when he was growing up, he thought you were his biological mother. Hmm. What are best friends for? Eddie should have done the same thing. Yeah. So, his debt being repaid. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Hey, Naomi. Are you ready to go home yet? I know you're there. No lurking in the shadows tonight. How'd you know I was there? Funny how it took you over a week to actually get Still a weakling, huh? Nah. <laughs> Actually, I was on my way home, and I was wondering if maybe I could drop you off at your place. You should actually be very grateful that I haven't punched you to the ground just yet. But let me assure you that the next time you mess with me, you would have my fist in your face. What did I ever do to you, though? you been? I have been calling you, but I couldn't get through. My phones were dead. So where have you been? It's pretty late coming back from the office. I went to the bar to see Naomi. And there was something she said that really caught my attention. She said I cost her something. And I don't know what it is. And I was here, thinking and worrying about him when he was busy having the time of his life with his stupid obsession. Did the manager of Bruno from Atletico scan for the meeting? No, sir. Did you go to his company? No, sir. I was busy at the office. Busy doing what at the office? I told you to pull that meeting. Even if it means inviting him for a dinner. But I had a deal I, I needed oh, to... Oh, will you stop that? What deal do you have? Our teaming up with Bruno Pharmaceutical is very important to our new deal. I know that manager is an arrogant son of a bitch. Look, next time you do what I say you should do, okay? Okay, Dad. I'm sorry, sir. Better be. I'll, I'll fix it. Dad, this contract came in while you were away. almost noon and you didn't come out for breakfast. I woke up late. Because you came back late. What time was it? 2.30? 3 a.m.? 4? What time did you come back? You're not my mother, sorry. I know I'm not. 
But isn't your obsession with this girl getting out of hand? You come back late, even on work days. You're not my timekeeper either. Oh, Jaden, yes, I'm not important to you, but at least, but for the love of God, take a step back. This girl bullied us. She even fought you despite you being the senior prefect at that time. Enough, Sarah. Didn't that girl respect no one? Enough. Okay? Come on, this girl got expelled because of us. And mainly because of you. Oh, okay. So now it's my fault. That's not what really? I'm saying. I'm not saying it's your fault. But I'm just saying that on that day you pulled her hair. And she ended up dragging your hair back. And then I interfered and I called her a fat bully. Well, you didn't tell any lies. But that's not the point. The point is that she got expelled because of us. And we're not even taking the blame for it. And now I'm the one who's having sleepless nights. Jaden! That was years ago! Get over it! This girl is bad news. And it's evidence in the way she has changed you for the worse. Do you now stay late nights or... or you, you just... Jaden... Thanks, Sarah. I, I think I want to be alone now. Finish your lunch today. Because you know you're losing weight. Thank you. Okay. Sit. Who wants to talk to you? Why? Is anything wrong? I should be asking you. Why are you keeping a long face? It's nothing, Mom. I'm fine. I overheard you and Jaden arguing earlier today. What is the matter? Go on. You remember that time I was bullied in secondary school and sent home with a swollen eye and a split lip? Yes. Well, we bumped into the bully some days ago and now Jaden has been obsessed with her. That's why he keeps late nights. I mean, how could he? I see. You see? That's all you have to say. Jordan is not a child. And this happened so many years ago. A lot could have happened in a decade. Maybe she's a changed person now and he has his reasons for wanting to no. be with her. Not you, mom. Not you. She's taking all of Jaden's attention from me. He doesn't even remember that I'm in this house. Besides, how could she be changed? What decent girl works at a bar? A bar? Yes. A bar. Now you see that there's something wrong. Well, learn not to write people off that fast. Wait. Whose side are you on? Your side, of course. Just letting you see things in another perspective. Forget it. Please finish your lunch. Zara. She's around.
and where do you think you're going to? What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Instead of you to be begging for your life. From who? <laughs> you? Of course me. Now listen and listen attentively. One more word again from you and I will slap the hell out of you. Really? Well, here you have one more word from me. What are you going to do? I see. You did you... Bro, what the hell are you doing? Hey, what's the problem? Yo, one move and I'll fuck you up right here. You crazy? Oh, I see. Listen, today is your lucky day. Otherwise, what? But my eyes are on you. My eyes are on you too. Shamelessly. Okay. Nobody called you. Okay? I can fight for myself. You look, know this. Look, I know that you can take care of yourself. But why don't you see this as an apology for what happened before? Then we're square. Square? Did you just say square? Look, you cost me my entire future. My entire education. What? While you were attending the best schools, getting the best education, I was fending for myself, by myself, because my parents wouldn't get that in my education. Guess why? Because of an expulsion that you caused. What? Now, I wanted to get a school certificate. And you stand here telling me about being square? Look, Jaden, even your head on a platter of gold will never suffice for what you cost me. Men never said I'm so Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know any of this happened. spoke to you earlier. I was just... You... Jaden, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Tell me, is something wrong? You look stressed. Good night, Sarah. Jaden! Did that bully do this? People come and people go the choices we made down the road can hurt us As we grow We were just little boys and girls We really couldn't stand each other such a Now the years are deciding with Sarah over something that small I should have said the truth, but that should have put Zara in trouble. Wait, but not in such a big way. Why didn't her parents continue sponsoring her education? Did they die? I feel so guilty. Hey, stranger. Can I give you a ride home? Hey, stop it. Oh, come on now. Naomi, please. I didn't know that all we did cost you so much, really. Just stop following me. Come on, Naomi. Give me a chance to try to right my wrongs, oh, please. Are you going to give me back the lost years of opportunities? A good degree? A good paying job? Are you? Please, don't be Look, like you're an eyesore to me. All right? And to think everyone back then thought you had such clean records. You are such a fraud. Stay as far away from me as you possibly can. Naomi, I will not stop until I make you forgive me. I promise you.
<gasps> what is it? Why do you keep harassing me everywhere? At home and now, now at work? You want to get me fired here too? No, I'm not trying to get you fired, no. I'm only trying to convince you to forgive me. You know why that's funny? Because I hate you even more now. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I, I think I should try harder. Maybe how about a dozen bouquets? Maybe that might work. Look, if you try that, I swear to God, I will kill you myself. <laughs> so have you forgiven me now? If I say yes, would you stop coming around here? Um, let me think about it. Uh, maybe. Cool. Then I'll think about it. So uh, are we ready to have a proper conversation now? Look, don't get ahead of yourself, young man. I only said yes to one thing, one damn thing, okay? By the way, how did you know my house? I followed you. Arrogant bastards. Oh, you're home? Yes, Uncle. Good. Sir. There's something I want to tell you. Young man. What is this nonsense I'm hearing? You're sleeping so low with a woman of easy virtue. She's not a woman of easy virtue. She's a bartender. Whatever. Whatever you call her, I don't care. Stop raising my image, young man. Respect the man that gave life to you. Dad, you have never been there for me. You have never been there for me. Now you want to take up your fatherly roles? You think I really do care about all this? So you only choose to speak to me when it favors you? Oh, will you shut up, young man? Do not talk to me with such voice. Why did you ask me before listening to gossips from people who betray you for their personal selfish reasons as a guise of friendship? I'm a full grown up man and I'll not be told what to do. Young man, come back here. I've not finished talking to you. What's the problem? Why don't you run off to one of your business trips and leave my personal matters be? Jordan? what I did because I care about you and I don't want you making any mistakes I also don't want anyone dragging down all you've built all these years the irony of it all is that you're the one who's the bully I mean we've wronged her in the past but till now what has she done to you? You're a big bully, Zara. But you just don't realize it yet. Jaden. All I did was 
help you as a friend. We grew up together. We did things together. I thought I was your best buddy. But now since she came, she just, she just took you away from me. But I guess you don't see anything wrong in that. Jaden. I only have you good at heart. Why the obsession with her? Okay, Zara, it's, it's enough. And I understand what you're saying. I know you have my best interests at heart, but this is not the best way to go about it. And it's true what you said. I'm sorry I've not been spending time with you like we used to. I mean, we're supposed to be besties, right? So I'm sorry about that. We're good here. Yeah? You sure? Or do we have to fight inside this room? You know I'll slam you. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Is there much? You miss me? You are annoying. Get me something to drink, please. Uh, sure, sir. What would you like, please? Uh, two shots of tequila. I gotta go. Um, uh, I have to leave real quick. I'll see you later, okay? And where are you coming from? Where have you been? I'm not a child, Dad. I, I don't have a curfew. Then behave like a sensible adult. We have people in this house who are worried about you. Then if you feel you cannot be in this house again, then you better get your own place. You are meant to take over from me. Keep the company, do the work, in my absence. But all you do is gallivant around town in the bar with some questionable characters. Dad, 
I have lived in this house alone, even with you present. You think I don't want to leave or get my own place? You know what? It's fine. I'll leave. It doesn't even change anything anyway. Come back here. Where do you think you're going to buy this time of the night? Remember, Dad, I'm not a child. Then behave like an adult. Come here! Jalen, come back here! I said, come back here! Yes, you have it we are currently giving to her, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, you can go. Thank Good night. You. Good night. Good night, sir. But then, before you go, is that man not supposed to be your friend? You should help him get a cab or something, so you should go home. That's not my friend. And if I pay for a cab with my money.
Hey. Hey. Is there something on my face? Yeah. Beauty. Creep. Shall I just let you sleep outside? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking me in. Anyway. Why did you come back to get drunk last night? Have you ever seen someone who has parents and yet act like he doesn't have any? My dad was never there for me. He thought good food and Good education, whether prowess of a, <laughs> raising a good child. He doesn't even remember my birthday. His meetings, his seminars, his office, all came first before me. Hey, aren't you too old to be worrying about birthdays or whatnot? I don't think anyone is too old to expect some kind of love from their parents. Now he's all over the place dictating my every move. After he avoided me and he didn't want to see me for years. He won't even attend any of my school functions. Rather, he'll send the driver to do so. I think you still live with your dad, huh? Rich kid. Look, I'm staying with my dad because I choose to. I know he might not admit it, but he actually needs me. I'm the only one he has. My dad could be difficult at times and come off as cold. But all I see is his loneliness. I see a lonely old man who doesn't admit that he is. I'm only trying my best to be a good son. Well, <clears throat> I am hungry. I want to go make some food. Do you want to feed me too? Um, let me think. Yeah. Just because you look pitiable. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Is Jude not back here? No. And he's not taking his calls either. Are you sure he didn't go too far telling his father about his business? No. 
I wanted him to see reasons. That's how it starts. Before you know now, he will say he's in love with her. What is wrong with that? Everything. Everything is wrong with it. Zara, I am your mother and I know you too well. Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Do you love Jaden more than just a friend? Is that why you're doing this? Thanks for the food. Well, your money paid for the food and the cab. Regardless, thank you. Since we're in the spirit of generosity, can I stay with you a few nights? What's wrong with you, rich kid? Look, I didn't help you out of the generosity of my heart last night. Oh? Look, I can take care of groceries and food. I can drive you to work and back. Oh, and please. you can save money that way. You've already overstayed your welcome. You can go pick up your car from the bar parking lot. Anyway, um, thank you. And um, since we're in the spirit of friendship, have you considered forgiving me? You know what? Make sure the dog doesn't hit you on your way out. I was cold. In the morning, I in the morning, you're going to eat me. So, this one. I want to speak with you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Speak. In private. I'll be right back. alone. I don't see myself holding anyone. Oh, don't act smart with me. Jaden already has a good life. But your presence is ruining it for him. I mean, you're like cancer. Eating him up. Now he stays late nights or not even coming home at all. Or is it losing himself thinking about you? All this is happening because of your presence in his life. Just leave him alone. What is it that you want? Why do you want to ruin his life hey, completely? Don't you dare come to my workplace and tell me what to do or what not to do. And don't let me unleash my anger on you. Okay? Sir, so I'm sure you remember just what I'm capable of doing. Jaden is mine. Mm. Yes, I repeat, Jaden is mine. Okay, I see how it is now. A pathetic case. You want him so bad and he doesn't give a shit about you. Mm. Aww, poor little kid. 
Things aren't going on as planned, are they? Hmm? You know, I would actually like to split your lips one more time. It was so much fun the last time. wanted to feed me, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's have lunch tomorrow. <coughs> hey. <coughs> hey, what? I'm sorry. Um did, did I just did I just hear you say let's have lunch tomorrow? Is that what I heard? Don't make me change my mind, which kid. Okay. Lunch tomorrow. Perfect. Cool. See you tomorrow. Okay. Jaden already has a good life. But your presence is ruining it for him. I mean, you are like cancer. Eating him up. I am about to get even, bitch. Is it nice? Really good. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to have lunch with me today. You know, if, if you're interested, there's this really great breakfast place that I know. They serve the very best breakfast. So if you're free some morning, we can, we can do that. Do you have a problem eating alone? No, of course not. <laughs> Honestly, it's just that I enjoy your company a lot. No, now I'm going to suffer from indigestion. <laughs> I mean. No, come on, just enjoy. It'll be fun, I promise. One step at a time, okay? So, I had a good time chilling with you today. Same. You think we should do this some other time? Cool. Anyway, I, I have to go now. My shift starts in five minutes. Bye. All right. Cheers. All right. Bye. She's so feisty. I like. <laughs> yes, bitch. Slow <sighs> down, easy. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, easy. That... You've had like six shots already. And that's fine, okay? Let's drink some more. You should have one. No, no, it's fine. Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, we're done. 
Look, you're not crashing at my house tonight. Look, I have to take you home. Don't worry about that. I just don't want to take you home. But I have long. more shots. We still had some. No, 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 no. You had enough to drink. We'll take you home. Let's go. Oh, you're okay. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's okay, go. that's my favorite piece. I need it. Okay. But uh, can I have just one more no, shot? No, no, Naomi. Come on. Let's no. go. <laughs> So are the shots just going to waste? They're not going to waste, don't worry. <laughs> They're already paid for. Let's are you, go. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Put it Okay. Put it down. Put it down. I hate You need to sleep, okay? Somehow, I've fallen for you. But in as much as I want you, I want you to also want me to, but sober when you do, okay?
Who would have thought that spoiled rich kid would be a gentleman after all? <sighs> hey. Something smells nice around here. Where are you coming from? Did you sleep at her place? Good morning, Zara. Can you please mind your business? You can't just come and go whenever you want. Where have you been? You know I hate to be that guy, but this is my house. And I can go out and come back however I choose. You are not my mother. So please, excuse me, so I can go get ready for work. Somehow, I've fallen for you. But in as much as I want you, I want you to also want me to, but sober when you do, okay? What do you want? I got you something. Go ahead. You like? I love. Thank you. 
welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. All right, so I'll see you later. Okay, but before we go, can I ask you something? Are you gonna bore me to death? Ah, no, of course not. No. It's just that I've kind of noticed that you've grown on me, and when this started, I started to enjoy your company a bit more. I mean it, I really mean it. I really love the time we spend together. And I've come to notice that the personality you paint yourself to be, that everyone notices, it's not really a good part. You build those walls to try to protect yourself. Wow. Instant. Are you done? No, I'm not done. Look, what I'm trying to say is that I really like you. And I know at first, I wanted to apologize for what we did to you in the past and all that we cost you, but it's more than just being friends with you and trying to make amends with you. You've really grown on me. And it leads me to the question that I wanted to ask you. Will you go out with me? Are you going to take that? Um, are you going to drop me home or should I just order a car? Of course I'm going to drop you home, but you've not answered my question yet. I'm not deaf. I heard you the first time. Okay, so that's not a no, meaning that I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll keep my fingers crossed. I want you to stay away from him. Now why should I? Because the little princess said I should. <laughs> You're very funny. What is it that you want? Huh? Tell me. Because I know you don't like him. So what is it? You bully us. So tell me what is it that you want? Or are you just trying to ruin his life like you ruined yours? Your prank so many years ago sent me out of school. I have been waiting for you to apologize. You did not. And yet, you come here to try to spoil my mood. The only reason I haven't blooded your nose yet is because of Jaden. Oh, so you admit you like him. So what if I do? Huh? He's rich, he's funny, and he does whatever I want. Why shouldn't I keep him? You, you a gold digger. What should I have digged for? Rocks? Look, he's a very good cook too, in case you didn't know. You claim he's your man, yet he spends nights at my house. There are so many hours in the night. And guess what? We get very creative with it. We think of very interesting, fun ways to have a good time. Would you like me to elaborate? Just Little Miss Princess? Just... 
I will show you. Go home, little princess. The world doesn't revolve around you, okay? I will show you. Show me what? Such a crybaby. Come in. You're still awake. Yeah, uh, I'll sleep soon. But is there anything a problem? No. Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Did I do something wrong to you? What do you mean? Am I not good enough for you? What? Jaden. I've had feelings for you for years. I have waited quietly. For you to see it, but but you just ignore it. Worst of it is that you spend all your time with that that tout. Don't call her that, Chizara. Why? But we used to call her that back then in school. That was decades ago. You need to grow up. I am grown up. But you're the one that can't see and appreciate what is right in front of you. I had feelings for you. For years, Jaden. Why can't you see that? Zara, I'm I'm sorry. I don't see you as anything else other than what I see you to be. I've always regarded you as my baby sister. And that's it. Maybe someday someone will come along and love you unconditionally and in return cherish you. That person isn't me. You need to go to bed now. Good night. have a lot of time. What do you want? You have not been picking my calls. It's every
everything okay? Everything is fine. Also, if you don't have anything tangible to say, let me just get back to my business. Oh, my daughter. Please come visit your mother. Forget the past, please. Come and visit me. You should stop calling me, okay? I stopped being your daughter a very long time ago. It took you a whole decade to remember that you have a child. You would do well to forget about me. After all, blood doesn't make us family. With work that you hardly unwind. <laughs> you're such an intelligent girl. You know you're like the father I no longer have. I see. The gift. <laughs> so, Uncle. How's work, Uncle? I hope you no longer overwork yourself. You know, Jaden can take bulk of the work. Mm. You know, he doesn't know everything, and the work is too much for one man. Oh. Okay, so if there's anything, I'll be glad to help. Come to think of it, I was thinking about that, but then, um, knowing that you are with your mother every time because of her head, I said, let me allow you. But at the same time, you so nowadays, you have wonderful energy. You can do so many things at the same time. I will find you a spot in the company so we can gain experience for the future. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. You know, you're a very humble girl, a good girl. Just the daughter I never had. Oh, thank you, Uncle. Thank mm -hmm. you. This is delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Uncle, you can. You have to finish it. No, 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 no. At this stage, we don't eat so much. We just eat here and then do the walk. Maybe I should get you a smaller plate. Okay, maybe I should get a knife and cut it into pieces. Okay.
Um, now that um, Tizaran is done with her master's program and joined the company as catching up very fast, why can't both of you think of building a family together? Both family has always been in good relationship. I don't see anything bad if they can cement it with a marriage uh, alliance. Well, I've been thinking about it for longer now. I think it's a great idea. And you need to know you will like this. What did you just say? Wrong man. Sit down, I'm still talking. Look, Dad, I'm not going to marry her. Not now, not ever. And I say shut up while I'm talking. No, I'm not going to do that, Dad. Why are you suddenly meddling in my life? So please calm down. He's too beautiful. You were never there for me since I was a child. And even growing up as a teenager, I saw the driver more than I did see you. You never attended any of my birthdays or any of the school activities. And to Eunice here will come to school and sit in for your PTA meetings. You didn't even care if I existed. As long as I had food to eat and I went to school, your parental prowess were met. I even tried to get your attention and all I did see was your back. You never celebrated any of my achievements. To you, I was some home appliance and, 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 and you just left me there. Now you want to meddle into my life? Dad, I am old enough and these decisions I would make myself. Jaden, please, calm down. I know you're into this as well because you want it. I told you, Zara, I would never see you anything less than a friend or a sister. But you keep making things hard for us. And to Eunice, I'm sorry. But I don't love her in that way. I understand. Jaden is my son too. And I will always want to see him happy. I saw him grow up wanting his father. He has always yearned for your acknowledgement and praises. I didn't know it would get this much. And I realized it's a mistake on my part. He's right. He's grown now, but he needs his father. No one chooses to join kids in alliance these days. You have to think about it. So sorry, I woke you up. Um, uh, I've been driving around all night trying to clear my my head, and I was hoping maybe I could stay here for tonight. If it's okay.
People come and people go The choices we made down the road can hurt us As we grow We were just little boys and girls We really couldn't stand each other Now the years have gone by Who would have thought You and I could be in love Who would have thought You my feeling will tickle my heart Never meant to make you cry Give me another chance to make you Smile again If I could control the time I would turn back the hand of time And make things right Yeah, who would have thought you might be lamb to tickle my heart? So, are you ready to finally tell me why you don't want to go home? Because your apartment is cozy. I like it. Oh, come on, JD. I'm serious. It's my dad, he, he finally picked the wrong day to meddle in my life. What happened? You know how I told you I and Zara grew up together and how she later moved in together with her mom? Yes. My never present dad, never sentimental dad, got this crazy idea to make them our in-laws. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy. But don't worry, I'm I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> worry? <laughs> of course I'm not. I mean I'm not worried. It's not like I own you or anything. You know, that's the thing with you rich kids. Your parents make all the decisions for you. <laughs> Always trying to fix your life. I just, you know, live your life for you. I don't envy you guys. Not one bit. Because it's like you have a lot of money, but <laughs> you can't even do whatever you want. You know, that's the wrong perception you have, young lady. You whatever. know that, right? Whatever. Anyway, I am going to make something for us to eat. I mean, if you want some, of course. People come and people go. The choices we made down the road can hurt us as we grow. We were just little boys and girls. We really couldn't stand each other. What are you doing here? And what's it with you guys and barging into my home unannounced? Can I come in? Well, only because I don't want my neighbors poking their noses in my business. Mm. Mm. 
I wanted to know what it is about you to have such hold on Jaden. And then I followed him. Imagine my surprise when he walked into this hellhole. Well, that's rich. I mean, coming from someone who lives and feeds off other people. At least I pay my rent here. Mm. And I'm not just freeloading in someone else's house. Mm. You have no class. No class at all. And you're not even a graduate. So what makes you think you're good enough for Jaden? Well, that is for me to know and for you to have sleepless nights over. You think you're tough? Hmm? I know your type. I know that you're a gold-digging social climber who would do anything, anything at all, to mix with the eats crowd. Hello, Pot. Hi, Kettle. You know, that description suits you perfectly, Chisera. Don't call me that. We're not friends. Well, you are in my house. You call this... And I made the rules around here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You call this... a house. How much is it? Tell me. Name your price. How much? How much do you want? Say anything. How much do you want so you can leave us alone? That's enough. Okay? I haven't knocked a tooth out of your mouth because I respect Jaden so much. But there's only so much someone can take. Now leave my house before I change my fucking mind. His father wants me. Let's see who smiles last. How dare you go to a house to harass her? How dare you? Why shouldn't I? Somebody needs to put her in her place. And where is that supposed to be? And who told you that you could put her in her place? We have been best friends, Jaden. Can't you see what she's doing to us? You must be delusional to think that I have any feelings for you. To think that I will leave her for you. Can't you see that I'm trying to salvage whatever we have as friends? But you drew the line when you went to her house to harass her. Of course. She came crying to you. Naomi is not petty. If anybody is being petty here, it's you. Because you're the one who has been bullying her from day one. Shut up. Yes, you don't want to hear it, right? You're the one who insulted her. You pulled her hair first. And if she was the one who went to report us, we would have been in trouble. You can think whatever you want. The fact remains that I do not like her. And that's the truth. You don't like her. Finally, it has come out. What? Jordan. Hold on. I want to talk to you briefly before you go to work. <sighs> okay. Sit down. <sighs> Where?
When your mother died, her best friend Eunice offered to raise you. And I was heartbroken because of the death of my love, your mother. The only way to help myself was to walk, walk. And this made me neglected my only son. For this, I'm very sorry. I thought providing everything you wanted was enough. I was even thinking that giving you anything that money can buy was okay, was good parenting. But no, all lies. I neglected the most important things, which is love and attention for you. Um, I cannot go back to those things. But moving forward, I promise I'll be here for you every time. It, it means a lot to me that you said all this, Dad. And I'm also very sorry for being difficult. And I'm really sorry for raising my voice at you. No, 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 no. You're just trying to be hard. I understand. You know, for you, I agreed to stay back here. It was all for me. Because you never wanted me to feel lonely. Dad, it's, it's my responsibility to take care of you. And more, moreover, this is a very big house. I'm sure there's enough space for everyone. What about that you are a bad tender girl? Do you love her? Yes, Dad, I do. I would like to meet her. Okay. Invite her for a dinner. Okay, Dad, I will. Good. Dad, thanks for everything you said. I love you, Dad. And I love you too, son. Now you can go to work. Don't forget to invite her for dinner. No, I'll not forget. All right, Dad. It's okay, my dear. You will find the man meant for you. Why can't it be Jaden? Just why? I want him. He's the one I want, Mom. He's the one I want. Uzugo. It's all right. Marriage is sweeter when it is built on love. Let him go so you can find your own man. I also want Jaden to be happy. Whoever he chooses, you have to accept her. Put your differences aside. Please. I don't want you to ruin the relationship you've built with Jaden all these years. When I am gone, I want to rest in peace knowing that you have people who love you surrounding you. Yeah. How did death enter this matter again? You think I'll let you go without doing no more work for me? I also want to carry my grandchildren. It's alright, okay? Come here. Everything will be fine, okay? Babe, are you ready? Ready. Wow. Ooh. What? <laughs> what? Why are we all dramatic? What? 
Wow! You should wear dresses more often. Look at you! You look like a goddess. Wow! Wait, you pervert. You better don't start getting ideas in your head. Me? I like what I see. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go. Okay, ladies first. Wow! What? You look beautiful, dear. Thank you, Ma. My son say you got a pretty good button. Um, I, I try my best. Mm, maybe one of these days we sit down and talk about whiskeys. Grandies, because I know I have a lot of good ones here. I would be very delighted to do so. I don't want any trouble today. Wait. I don't want to give you any trouble. I admit, I have been a brat about this whole thing. But it wasn't easy. Since Jaden chose you, then it's fine. Jaden is like a big brother to me. Yeah, so I would treat his family like mine. Oh. Okay. And look, I'm sorry about what happened back then in school and what happened after. I just, I just hope for Jaden's sake we can, you know, put everything behind us and just move forward. Yeah. That. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm sorry too. For everything, my, my attitude towards you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's fine. So, we're cool. Yeah. <laughs> we're cool. Yeah. What's happening here? Now me and I just made up. So cool. Okay, that's a uh, that's good news. Mm -hmm. Naomi. Make sure you take care of me. Of course. I will. I will just leave you two. Hey. Hey. 
Okay. Are you ready? I want to show you something. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's really nice. Yeah. I'm more happy that my dad finally found a drinking partner and someone who recommends him really good wine. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I actually really like your dad. He's cool. Like, super cool. Oh, wow. So like, my dad is super cool now. Extra cool. Wow. <laughs> Like, I've been waiting for months to get you to finally speak to me nicely. And you finally meet my dad on the first day. And he's super cool. Yes. That is so biased. Wow. Wait, Jaden. Don't tell me you're jealous of your own dad. No, how could I be jealous? Wait. What did you just call me? Nothing. <laughs> did you just call me by my name? Are you hearing things now, rich, rich kid? <laughs> Hmm, I like it when you act tough. No, please. Leave me alone. Can I ask you a question? I mean, something I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. Sure. So, when am I going to meet your mom? I don't know. We don't get along very well. What happened? She and my dad are the architects of my downfall. They used to fight morning, afternoon, and night. Great role models, huh? <laughs> After I got expelled from school, my father decided he was no longer going to sponsor my education. My mom did the same, because according to her, it was his responsibility as my father. And then he left, got married to someone else. And my mom, choosing to live a single life, Abandoned me. She abandoned me in the village with my grandmother. I was hungry, out of school, alone. But I, I couldn't take it anymore, so I, I ran away. I slept. I slept in the streets for so long. For so many months, I started out with renewal jobs until I was able to gather enough for my GC. And that was how I got the school certificate. When I turned 18, I went back to see my mother because I thought things would be different. But it wasn't. She neglected me. I came. That was when I decided to leave for good. Never look back. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Cheer up, okay? Okay? Yeah. I know our parents be doing the most. I know. But hey, cheer up. I'm fine. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'll be there for you. I'll be your mom, I'll be your dad, I'll be your auntie. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say, right? I'll be anything you want me to be. 
but I'll be there for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have one more question. I just hope this one doesn't make me break down completely. No, of course not. So, are you considering on going back to school? School? I definitely cannot afford that right now. Okay. Look, I want to see you achieve everything you've ever dreamt of. So, if it's okay, I would like to support you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nah, it's fine. I love you, Naomi. I love you too. People come and people go. The choices we made down the road can hurt us as we grow. We were just little boys and girls, we really couldn't stand each other. Now the years have gone by. Another chance to make you smile again. If I could control the time, I would turn back the hand of time and make things right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 